Moses quickly led God's people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. God guided Moses and the Israelites toward the Red Sea and the wilderness. As they traveled, God went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud during the day. At night, God was a pillar of fire. God told Moses to set up camp near the sea. God knew Pharaoh was going to change his mind and chase after the Israelites, and God had a plan to prove to the Israelites that he is the one true God. Sure enough, Pharaoh got into his chariot, and he and his army pursued the Israelites. They caught up with God's people, who were camping near the sea. The Israelites saw the Egyptians coming, and they were afraid. We're gonna die! They shouted, we should have never left Egypt. But Moses said, don't be afraid. God brought you here and he will fight for you. As the Egyptians got closer, God told Moses what to do. Stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it so the Israelites go through the sea on dry ground. God moved behind the Israelites to hold back the Egyptians for the night. In the morning, Moses stretched out his hand and divided the sea. The Israelites walked through with walls of water on both sides. But the Egyptians chased after them. As soon as the Israelites were safely on the other side of the sea, Moses stretched out his hand again. The waters crashed down, covering the Egyptians and killing all of Pharaoh's army. When the Israelites saw what had happened, they feared God and believed that he had sent Moses to lead them. Moses and the Israelites sang a song to the Lord. The Lord is my strength and my song, they said. He has become my salvation. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, and God provided a way for them to escape through the Red Sea. The Bible says that Jesus is greater than Moses, Hebrews 3.3. 3. People who trust in Jesus escape the penalty of sin and have eternal life.